Hello avid royal followers, or welcome back to the channel. In today's news and life outside the royal family hasn't all been all sunshine and roses for Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. The young couple left behind their duties in the UK for a fresh start in LA via Canada, hoping to live a more independent life free from the shackles of their extremely privileged world. However, the transition hasn't been as easy as the pair hoped, with Harry struggling more than he is letting on. According to Andy Tillett and Dylan Howard, the authors of Royals at War, the inside story of Harry and Meghan's shocking split with the House of Windsor, Prince Harry is having a hard time adjusting to life in the US due to the coronavirus crisis. A source revealed that the pandemic has forced Harry to not take his family for granted as it hit home for him that Charles and the Queen aren't going to be around forever. Harry and Meghan, who are riding out lockdown at Tyler Perry's multi-million dollar mansion, are also struggling with being stuck inside for so long. On top of it all, he's got cabin fever, the source said. It was far from an ideal situation. Harry's gone from feeling excited about the move to feeling secretly tortured. The coronavirus crisis has been causing despair across the globe, and even the royal family aren't immune to its effects. In March, Prince Charles tested positive for COVID-19 and was forced to self-isolate in Scotland as he recovered from the deadly disease. While he has since recovered from the infection, Charles reportedly still hasn't regained his sense of smell and taste two months after contracting COVID-19. Meanwhile, Meghan and Harry have been living abroad this year after making their shock announcement in January and officially stopped using their royal titles on April 1st. In a statement on their Instagram earlier this year, they revealed their plans to exit the royal family. After many months of reflection and internal discussions, we have chosen to make a transition this year in starting to carve out a progressive new role within this institution, the statement read. We intend to step back as senior members of the royal family and work to become financially independent, while continuing to fully support Her Majesty the Queen. It is with your encouragement, particularly over these last few years, that we feel prepared to make this adjustment. That is all for today's news. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.